anime statues and collectibles to your door, what's inside the new Lutaku subscription box? Yes, a new Lutaku box has arrived. I do want to make some apologies, though, to you, the viewers. Lutaku, uh, unfortunately, with the way that the courier systems have been coming lately, people are going on strikes and all the fun stuff with the couriers, some of these Lutaku boxes have arrived a little bit later. So we're going to be opening this up and finding out, first of all, which month this is from, and second of all, all the fun collectibles that Lutaku has packed inside what I might also say one of the largest subscription boxes that you can get delivered to your door. That being said, we're gonna grab our knife, old red here, and cut the tape on the front. I suspect, I hope, this is the December box, but we're gonna open this up and find out nonetheless. And like I said, inside Lutaco box is one of the largest subscription boxes on the market. Cut away from yourself, reviewer. Cut away from yourself, reviewer. As I was saying, one of the largest subscription boxes on the market contains fun collectibles, all ranging generally from the world of anime, if you guys are into anime. Now, I've heard some rattling in here, not rattling, hopefully, breakage, but I did hear some rattling, which I think is can be chalked up to this. No, not a, let's just dump this out here, there we go. We've got ourselves a neat looking mug. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna reach in here. Actually, I'm not gonna reach in there just yet because I'd like to, I wanna get into the habit of reading off what these things are as I open them up. What we're getting is a substantially large mug, which so happens also to be a Lutaku exclusive. Could you imagine the amount of coffee or beverage that you could fit inside this giant mug? This would certainly take up a lot of cupboard space if you are somebody that hoards and collects mugs like <clears throat> <clears throat> like this guy does. I'm gonna reach inside. I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna reach inside anyways. I'm gonna see if I can pull the card out because what I wanna do is I wanna be able to tell you guys what exactly these things are as I open them up. And there we go. This is actually from November 2018. Oh, courier systems. November 2018, and it's Full Metal Alchemist. Alchemist. I know I'm saying that so poorly. Alchemist. There we go. This is the Full Metal Alchemist Custom Mug Alphonse Elric Lutaku Exclusive. We don't always do custom mugs, but when we do, you can be sure it will be an amazing piece. This oversized, and that's an understatement, this oversized custom molded mug of Elfon's Elric even features the transmutation circle that his soul is binded to inside the mug. Oh, that's what that is. There we go. Right, you see that? Right inside there. Uh, details, this is definitely one of our most unique exclusives to date. And by the way, that mug is $25. Now I know I really gave away everything else that was inside this box, but I guess that was the best way for me to work around the idea of being able to tell you guys what these things are as I open them up. Because I often feel bad. I don't watch as much anime as I used to. Back in the day when I was in say high school, or even like post high school, I was extensively into anime. Really like watching Ghost in the Shell, I'm trying to think of I'm trying to think of some of my other favorites that I would go to. Cowboy Bebop, I think, was another one I really liked watching. I was dating somebody at the time, and uh, she was she was quite a bit into anime also. So between the two of us, we got quite a bit of our fair share, our fix, if you will, of anime. Unfortunately, now, as you get a little older, I don't have as much time at my disposal. It's not that my interest has diminished I would say but it certainly is more from a time standpoint video games and things like anime and all that stuff I just don't simply have the time to do it as as much anymore I still absolutely love the collectibles and statues that Lutaku ships inside each and every one of their boxes unfortunately for Lutaku if they are watching us I do apologize for the late late opening of this of this box all throughout December, I'm sure any many Canadians will, would be able to tell you, we had ongoing strikes at Canada Post. One minute they decided they didn't want to work, then they wanted pay increases. 
all that fun stuff. Anyways, uh, here we have Roy Mustang. Well, not him specifically, but we've got the display base. A little bit of scratch right there. And here's the part of the top part of the statue. It looks like we can quite easily attach it in place, but there is a specific way that you have to put them in. Two pegs on one side, one peg on the other, sort of gives you an idea as to which way it has to go. I wonder why they had to do it that way. Because, I mean, really, the name goes all the way around. It wouldn't matter if it was going this way, or it wouldn't matter if it was going, I guess, because they wanted this down below. This is the reasoning why they put it the way that it is. A neat looking statue, I have to admit. Got the lighter in his hand, holding the side of his torso area here. How about a little bit more of a read up? This is the Furyu, I hope that's how it's pronounced, Full Metal Alchemist Roy Mustang. Roy Mustang is a state alchemist of a mistress, is it a mistress, a mistress? State military from the Full Metal Alchemist series. He also is the superior of the series protagonist, Edward Elric Mustang, or El Edward Ulrich Elric Mustang holds the title of Flame Alchemist for his ability to create fire with alchemy, and he is ambitiously strives to become the next leader of a mistress. This beautiful figure from Furyu fully captures the moment of him defeating the the Homunculus. That would be H O M, Hom, Mun, Cullis, Lust, one of the most epic scenes of the series. I'm gonna have to bone up on my anime, I think. The statue, by the way, is worth 35 US dollars, and if I didn't already mention it already, the, uh, the mug was 25 US dollars. And what you're getting for a 35 US dollar statue is pretty good, actually. It's light, I mean, it, it's obviously made out of plastic. Uh, ABS plastic actually it does look good though it's a little smaller yes but a really nice looking statue good face as well on him I like the way that his jacket is flaring out here certainly also with the shirt also nice coloring nice subtle airbrushing that's been added in there just to kind of make some of the little creases pop a little bit yeah that's a nice looking statue put that right over there. It's funny that the box is so much considerably bigger than the statue itself. What else do we have in here? We may very well have, and I'm looking at it here, we have two more items as far as I know based on the little insert card. We'll take out the inserts and here we have, this is the Full Metal Alchemist, Edward and Alphonse Elric Gate of Truth Limited Edition Pin. You seem to know a lot about that. No, actually I was just I just read it off the card there. It says, This month we bring you a super oversized pin of the Gate of Truth featuring Edward and Elfon Elric. This massive 4-inch pin is the most detailed and largest pin we've ever done. That is really, a, I would say, that was definitely a very large pin. It's exclusive. It's also a limited edition enamel pin. Release of only 500. That's five, but then you would have to imagine a couple of zeros on top of that, or me just doing this for the rest of the video, and you guys would be here all day. Edward and Alphonse Elric, Gate of Truth. A nice looking pin. Three supporting backings on the back there, which would I would imagine then would uh, attach to three independent pins, giving you a nice weighted balance when you, say, had it on, say, a jean jacket. Or where would you put pins like this? I've still considered the idea of framing like a, a felt background where I could actually put some of my pins on there. I haven't yet done that, but... Uh, and then we last and certainly not least, we have ourselves an umbrella. Now, you'll have to forgive this modest reviewer from being able to open this up because obviously it's going to take up every bit of available space like I have a lot of available space to start off with but it would take up what's left of it and all of it would be umbrella a rather small compact umbrella but let me show you what it looks like when it's opened up it looks like this the full metal alchemist umbrella homunculus homunculus seven deadly sins lutaku exclusive that's a neat looking umbrella the folding umbrella features the seven homunculus, homunculus, <laughs> uh, 
Oh, somebody's so irate down below. Created by Father in the Full Metal Alchemist series. This unique design of custom printed onto the inside of the umbrella instead of the outside. Something you rarely see. So you can geek out without feeling too geeky, even on rainy days. That's really neat. Uh, looking at that, it didn't obviously, it wasn't obviously this, but it reminded me of the Umbrella Corporation. L literally, an Umbrella Corporation on an umbrella. I like the idea, though, of the printing being on the inside of the umbrella, rather than on the outside. And the umbrella, you would be looking at 15 US dollars. Collectively, all the things added up, and if you do all the math and all that good stuff, you work out it works out to be 90 US dollars based on lowest online prices at the time of writing. So that's not bad at all. All of this sets you back very well, sets you back a th what you're essentially getting in return. A fantastic, like I said, lineup of different collectibles, even though I do feel bad that I don't get into as much the anime as I used to back in the day time and just the depleting sense of time that I have as an adult well everybody knows the story of when you have adult when you become an adult and you have kids and all that other stuff but still I can kind of live vicariously through Lutaku as a fun source for anime themed items such as statues such as such as mugs such as even umbrellas if you guys are interested in subscribing to Lutaku yourself, it's simply a case of heading over to www.lutaku.com and you can get yourself your next subscription service from Lutaku. Even though I looked at the November 2018 box, thank goodness, oh, courier system. Um, but we'll try to get hopefully on back back on track, burr, 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 now that Canada Post, I think, has right now finalized and sorted out all their affairs with pay rates and pay increases and all their benefits and all their other stuff. Hopefully, we can get back on track for 2019 and have a look at these things at the time that they're supposed to have arrived. Either way, though, like I said, today we were having a look, a slightly later look at the Lutaku. This is the Lutaku November 2018 box entitled Full Metal Alchemist. That's a pretty cool looking collectibles inside. Let me know what your favorite thing was from this unboxing. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button. It's like right here. I, I used to say it was right over here. I realized quickly that's incorrect. I feel like it's right over here now. And as quickly as I say that, it might have been moved back over here. It's somewhere down below underneath here. Somewhere down in the barrens of... It's about the... No, right around, right, I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna say here, right here. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly more videos will be coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.